Hey folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and today we're talking about Airshow again. Specifically the playback issue many of you have with iOS 10 devices. Just to give you some background, if you have it smooth seeking turned off, which is an option in 64-bit devices, but it runs by default in 32-bit devices, once you finish your recording, unfortunately you can't watch it because the playback is simply a black screen if you try and run it within the Airshow program. And if you copy it to your photo gallery, you will simply have a grey screen as illustrated here. So the video has recorded and you can copy it onto a computer and play it there, but not on your iOS device. I did show you a previous solution where you had to go to an application called iConv and convert the video, but that was very limited by the program because you could only do it once every two and a half hours unless you had the pro version and it didn't always work. But thanks to this chap right here, Awesome John 4 He's posted a comment in one of my videos on a very simple solution which has one minor drawback. So let me show you what to do. Go to settings, then on the general tab, accessibility, and then turn on assistive touch. This will put a small white dot on your screen. It's actually used for doing certain actions by bringing up this pop-up. But if we just leave it somewhere discreet, perhaps in the bottom corner, watch this. It does grey out a little bit when you don't use it and when we start an air show recording let me just get this set up here so it's now recording and we'll do a very quick video do a couple of swipes maybe go into clash of clans just to give you some graphics and scroll around the screen see let's collect a couple of elixir and some coins okay that should be enough recording let's now go back to airshow stop the recording now go to our playback which is 22 seconds long and boom we can now see that it has recorded I forgot to change the orientation but it is recording and we can see the little assistive touch thing down here which is presumably what changes the video recording in order to let it actually record the visuals and just to confirm this we can now save this to the camera roll and once it's done that go to the photo gallery there's our new video which we can see and again we can play the video and all is hunky-dory tickety-boo boom so I just want to say once again thank you very much to Awesome John for I had no idea about this solution but it works and it seems to work very well. Now it's up to you guys to give me some feedback to confirm that you can now record on your iOS 10 devices without any extra applications just turning on assistive touch. And if you do post any comments in videos and I end up using them in future videos then I will give you credit just like this. Just remember sometimes many of you will post the same tip or solution, it's basically the first comment I read. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, thank you once again to Awesome John 4 enjoy the rest of your tech day, bye for now.